And chainsaws have been a popular item as Western Massachusetts residents continue the cleanup from that storm. 22 News reporter Nick Oresco was live in Florence with a look at how one local hardware store keeping up with demand. Many people out today buying chainsaws for this exact reason right here. Many trees still down across western Massachusetts, like this one behind me on Garfield Avenue here in Florence, which hit a two-story home last night because of the storm. Now, this will be taken down professionally because of the size of this old tree here, but many are still out buying chainsaws because they want to take their damage down by themselves. So today we visited a popular spot in Northampton, Foster Farrer. It always seems to be a popular place to go to pick up the essentials after a large storm that hits. Owner Carol Risha said business picked up this afternoon. Many looking for generators because of the thousands of people without power last night and into this morning. Unfortunately, to their surprise, though, they were sold out, but they had other popular items in stock. We have the bull bag, which is really nice for um, debris, and they just come and take it away, and you're good. We do not have any generators, which has been some of our calls. So most of the power outages from yesterday's storm was in Berkshire County, thanks to the combination of strong winds and heavy rain. Both Otis and Beckett saw most of the outages, with upwards of 500 Eversource customers without power. Springfield, Agawam, and East Hampton also saw how, uh, high outages as well. So again, those outages happened because of trees like this right here behind me coming down because of yesterday's powerful storm. Again, this is expected to be cleaned up by professionals in the next coming days. I hear that possibly they'll start on this tomorrow, but it is a pretty big tree here going all the way up to the second story with some wires uh, in it as well. So it is going to take a while to get this tree down here in Florence. We're live in Florence this evening. Nick Oresco, 22 News.